Hey guys, Chad here. Uh, a few tips for all those butterfly swimmers out there. I'm going to teach you guys how to do your technique, keep it intact while you're at home during the lockdown, and show you some tips that you can do on dry land if you don't have a pool. Alright guys, I'm going to show you just a little drill to do uh, if you have a Swiss ball at home and obviously you don't have a pool. This is a technique that I like to do sometimes, especially during the lockdown. So, you balance yourself on the Swiss ball, and when you're coming through on the butterfly stroke, you keep your head up, and then you drive it low. Make sure that you're keeping your arms straight out in the front. You're not bending your elbows too much and you're not dropping them too much. So you're keeping that, that high elbow, bringing it through, up. So you're simulating that fly stroke, getting a nice catch all the way through down. So that's the first drill. All right, guys, uh, this is just a very quick one. Um, just to do, so if you have a mirror over there, as you can see myself in the mirror. Look, the streamline is important. You want to keep yourself very, very streamlined. All right. Um, shoulders pressed up against the ears, but not too tightly. Now when you swing butterfly from the top, keep yourself, pretend that you're in the water, just like this, and I'm looking forward. Now in the catch, you want to push it through, all the way down, keep the same line, coming over like that, same line all the way through. See how the elbow is staying in the same position, I don't want to see your elbow drop, and I don't want to see it go too high, so it's just a smooth stroke all the way through. Up and down, just like that. So next I'm going to show you an exercise I like to call the butterfly drill. A lot of swimmers may know this already, but it's quite simple. You're just going to get on the ground, find a nice flat surface, make sure you have a lot of space around you, and I'll show you how it goes. In the butterfly drill or exercise that I just showed you, a way to make it more challenging and more fun is you can also, still keeping your hands flat and touching the floor, you can keep your hands in this position like this, squeeze your thumbs to make it just a little bit more. So when you're coming through and you're holding it up, it's all about creating a big distance between your scapula and making sure that you're really controlling each and all your fibers coming forward so that when you're swimming butterfly, especially in those turner fly guys out there, that last 25 where you can keep a nice high elbow catch. 